one major transportation project that the Duterte administration is pushing and hopes to implement soon is the PUV modernization program. Since the day that it was announced, many sectors are airing their opinion about this move. Former LTFRB or Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board Chairman Asek Dantelantin expresses his support for the government's PUV modernization program, which is seen to improve the country's public transport system through modernizing the PUVs. Uh, napakagandang program yan. Saludo ko dyan. In fact, uh, I have to uh, commend them for doing something that uh, we in the past have been trying to do but uh, was not successful enough. Especially yung uh, uh, modernizing yung mga jeepney natin. With regard to the different opinions and feedbacks from the public, motorists, as well as the PUV operators, since the program was launched, Asik Lantin stated that these are inevitable since there would always be pros and cons to every matter. Sa bawat issue naman may pros and cons eh. Pero ako, doon tayo sa nakadadami. At doon tayo sa kung alin ang mas maganda para sa bayan, para sa lahat. Hindi naman tayo pwede mabuhay ng para sa sarili lamang. Bawat isa ay dapat magsakripisyo. And this is one of those. Meanwhile, in connection to the events that have happened recently concerning public transport, this is what the former LTFRB chairman has to say. At the end of the day, lahat ng mga motorista, whether, pas whether passenger, whether pedestrian, whether driver, ang objective ay lagi ay makauwi ng buhay sa kanyang pamilya. So, my humble, simple suggestion for everybody is follow the rules, be considerate, uh, hindi tayo umiari ng kalye, and uh, try to be uh, as uh, cooperative as possible, uh, magbigaya, maging disiplinado, upang sa ganun ay makauwi din tayo ng buhay at uh, ma maaliwalas ang uh, pag-iisip at hindi naiinis. Sa, sa bahay at the end of the day na hinihintay tayo ng ating pamilya. Recently, many transport strikes have been happening in the metro, leaving commuters late or were not able to go to work or school. Transport sector and traffic government agencies should sit down and come up with a win-win situation so as to avoid these transport strikes. It is always the commuting public who will suffer even more.